Hey Bulldog fans, welcome into this week's edition of the Student Athlete Spotlight presented by Coca-Cola. I'm John McAfoos. Today I'm joined by Jaron Really, point guard on the men's basketball team. Jaron, I appreciate you making some time. I appreciate you having me here. Well, tell us a little bit about what brought you to Sanford. You were part of Coach Bucky McMillan's first recruiting class just a few months after he accepted the job here at Sanford University. Talk a little bit about what drew your interest to Sanford and playing here for Bucky. So really how the connection started was one of our walk-ons, Grayson Walters, actually played for him in high school. And me and Grayson were at uh, prep school together in Missouri. One night, uh, he, I guess he had texted Grayson uh, asking if he knew who I was. And Grayson was like, oh, yeah, we hang out together all the time. We're good friends, obviously seen him play a lot and then it just kind of grew from there, grew from there. Eventually he got the job here officially and then uh, he contacted me and I was talking to all the coaches they had here, all the coaches that had been with uh, Coach Bucky before and it just grew from there. Well obviously you grew up around the game. Your dad had a long playing career playing professionally in Australia after played his collegiate career at Gonzaga. How much did his style of play influence you, and, and how much time did you get to spend in Australia growing up? So I grew up in Australia from when I was born until uh, right around fourth grade. Then we moved over here because he got a job at uh, coaching at Boise State University. Uh, but you know, just being around him, seeing him play, um, seeing a high level of basketball from a really young age, and just what it takes to get there, uh, how different guys operate in that situation, it's helped me a lot just to get get to this point. How often do you get to talk to him now about you know your play and, and here at Sanford because he's still coaching he's at UC Santa Barbara now how yeah, often yeah. do you get to talk to him about basketball? We'll send texts back and forth probably every day on the phone two three times a week uh, you know after a game he'll, he'll send me sometimes send me videos of uh, his his opinion on what could have happened here differently uh, what I should have done uh, you know we'll talk about his team we'll talk about different teams around the around the country that we we know different guys at and stuff. So we're, we're always talking about basketball. Well, your dad obviously was known for his shooting. You've become really one of the best shooters on the Sanford team, 45% from the floor, 41% from deep. You are pretty selective, though, when you take your shots. And obviously, as a point guard, you're, you're taught to pass first. But what's your mindset as far as passing versus shooting? Uh, you know, everyone on the team's just been telling me to be more aggressive looking for my shot, whether it's the players, the coaching staff, just everyone involved. Um, and you know, it's something I work on every day. I'm always in the gym. Uh, it's just something I've grew, grew up always being in the gym, so I've got the confidence. And with them behind me, I'm even more confident shooting the ball now. Double-digit scoring in three of your last four games, including a season high 15 at Western Carolina this past weekend. Is it fair to say that this is as comfortable as you've been at the Division One level? Yeah, I mean, I'm for sure getting a lot more comfortable. Uh, I think our team uh, as a whole is getting a lot more comfortable playing together. I think we went through a little bit of a rough patch where we were missing some guys, had some injuries, uh, obviously some COVID-related issues. And I think we're all back and healthy for the most part, and everyone's starting to find their groove again. And it's looking pretty good heading towards the end of the season now. Let's go back to last year for a second. I mean, you touched on the injuries this year. There were a lot of those last year, too. I mean, there were times where you guys could really yeah. barely field a team between injuries, COVID, but you were really one of the beneficiaries of that because you got a lot of minutes as a true freshman that you probably were not expecting to get, especially late in the season. How much did that benefit you coming into this year? Uh, I mean, it helped a lot. I mean, uh, you know, just being kind of thrown into that role where as a freshman, by the end of the year, I was playing 35, 36 minutes a game. I mean, we went to Mercer, had the double overtime uh, loss there, but you know, we had a couple of freshmen that played over 40 minutes there, and uh, I mean, that's just helped a lot coming into this year. Uh, again, uh, you said we had a lot of games last year that didn't end up our way, but I feel like that helped us this year because we had guys that have been through that and didn't want to go through that again, and then the new guys as well, obviously didn't want to uh, go through, make the season uh, something like it was last year and we seem to have turned it around here and we just keep getting better every day. Well, really big one tonight, Chattanooga Mox here in the Pete Hanna Center coming in with an 8-1 record in SoCon play, top of the standings right now. What do you expect to see from the Mox? Uh, I mean, they're, they're a really good team. Uh, they got a lot of talented players, a lot of guys coming back from last year, a couple new additions, but you know, we're ready, we're, we're trending in the right way and we're ready to get a win. All right, Jaron, we're going to end with some rapid fire questions. We're going to start with some about you and then some about your teammates. Okay. Favorite sport outside of basketball? Soccer. Okay. Did you play? I did. I played until my freshman year of high school, sophomore year of high school. What was your favorite and least favorite thing about Australia, if you can remember? I know you were only there Ooh. at a pretty young age. My favorite thing? 
Uh, we got a little beach spot that we'd always go to, like a little vacation spot called Malula Ball. That was pretty cool. Okay. Uh, least favorite thing? Where, where we lived, we couldn't really go in the ocean as much because it was right on the Great Barrier Reef. So, you know, there was a lot of uh, jellyfish, sharks, all that stuff. So it was, it was, we couldn't go in the water as much there. Hobbies off the court. Hobbies off the court. Um, me, me and my roommate Marcel, so we've started cooking a little bit too. We moved off campus, we got a kitchen and everything, we started cooking a little bit. Uh, and then, I'm a, uh, I, I play games quite a bit on my, okay. on my PlayStation. What's your go-to game? Right now it's Fortnite. Has okay. been for a while, still okay. is. All right, what's the best thing that you and Marcellus have cooked so far? I say, I say we're good at breakfast. Favorite and least favorite road trip in the SoCon? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, it's double-edged sword. Favorite and least favorite is, I'm gonna say VMI because of the atmosphere there. It's pretty, this is the first, we didn't get to play there last year because of COVID. Yeah. And this year it was pretty cool just seeing uh, how engaged their students are in the game and how. Yeah. Um, but that bus ride, man. Uh, but the bus ride, it's too cold up there for me too. It's, it, was, it was cold up there, so it's a double-edged sword. Most recent movie you've watched? Oh, uh, Encanto, the new Disney movie. Okay, how was that? It was alright. It's it's alright. It's not my favorite Disney movie, but it's better than better than. Alright, favorite favorites. Disney movie. Ooh, I'm gonna say Cars. Okay. Uh, what are you studying, and what's your dream job after basketball? Uh, so my major right now is sports administration, uh, and then my dream job, whenever I'm finished playing, is to coach, uh, whether it's the Division One or NBA level. Okay, we're gonna move on to your teammates. Okay. Who's winning a three-point shooting contest? Besides me? Yeah, well, are you picking yourself if you're included? Oh, I'm picking myself. Okay, if yeah. you're not included, who's winning? Um, Quinn or Cooper. Most likely to take a nap in the locker room? Owen. Biggest trash talker? Oh, Jermaine. <laughs> not close. <laughs> Best 2K player? Ooh, I've heard a lot of things about Jaden. I've heard a lot of things about Jaden playing 2K. Who's got the best shoe game? Quez. Quez. Quez got a lot. All right, which coach could still go out and play at a high level? You guys got like a million coaches too, so you got a lot of <laughs> options. Yeah, I got I got Coach Neb. I mean, him and him and uh, Drew were on our scout team last year when we got towards the end didn't have as many players, but yeah, they can hoop. All right, Jaron, appreciate your time, man. Looking forward to the game tonight. All right, for sure. Point guard Jaron, really. I'm John McAfee. So that'll do it for this edition of the Student Athlete Spotlight, presented by Coca-Cola.